Hi friends, in this video we are going to see direct form 2 representation of discrete time system. Already I posted a video related to direct form 1. The link for that video is available in the description. So please refer that video. After that, you come to this video. Then only it is easy to continue the uh, concept which is which I dealt with uh, direct form one video. Okay, because it is uh, direct form two is the extension or you can say some slight modification. Only the slight modification we have to do in the direct form one that uh, some some kind of simplification we can say. Okay. There is some disadvantage in direct form 1 that is for the same system what we used this is the same system we used in direct form 1 to understand what is direct form to reduce the number of delay elements the main purpose why we are going to direct form 2 to reduce number of delay elements delay elements delay elements we have to come to direct form 2 that is the only difference between direct form 1 and direct form 2 ok the purpose we come to direct form 2 is to reduce the number of delay elements ok so we will try to understand the direct form 2 here consider a system like we seen in the direct form 1 h of z is the system function that is equal to y of z divided by x of z it is the ratio h of z is the system function it is a lapla in uh, is a transform of impulse response it is a, is a transform of impulse response okay so that is the ratio of two polynomials okay so we are going to introduce a new variable that is w of z here so if you cancel out you will get the original equation that is y of z divided by x of z. So, we are going to take the denominator part of the given function as a w of z divided by y of z. The numerator part as the numerator part is taken as y of z divided by w of z. If you multiply these two, we can get the original h of z. We will get the original h of z if you multiply these two ok so here we are going to hereafter after these two steps we are going to continue like how we did in direct form 1 ok so we will take this is a separate function this is a separate function ok first you will consider the equation 2 just to cross multiply like we did in direct form 1 just to cross multiply if you cross multiply W of z is equal to W of z is equal to this is if you cross multiply what you will get if you cross multiply W of z plus a1 z power minus 1 W of z plus a2 z power minus 2 W of z that is equal to x of z now you need W of z. So, take all this common to right hand side. So, W of z is equal to x of z minus a1 z power minus 1 w of z, a2 z power minus 2 w of z. Okay. Next, the equation 3. Equation 3 you are going to cross multiply. If you cross multiply y of z, it will be remained here itself. Then if you take this term here, so the B0 W of Z plus B1 Z power minus 1 W of Z plus B2 Z power minus 2 W of Z. Okay. Now we are going to realize equation 4 and 5. Equation 4 and 5 the way we did in direct form 1. So first we will realize the equation 4. Equation 4 first we will realize using the block diagram components just I will write it here again W of z is equal to 
x of z minus a power a n uh, sorry a 1 z power minus 1 x of uh, w of z this is what is uh, equation 4 where w of z is equal to x of z minus a 1 z power minus 1 x of z minus a 2 z power minus 2 x w of z okay now w of z is equal to x of z that is the multiplication factor is 1 so x of z minus we can say it is w of z into z power minus 1 so delay element is comes w of z z power minus 1 and it is going to be multiplied with a multiplication factor minus 1 so here you will get z power minus 1 w of z here you will get minus a uh, a 1 z power minus 1 w of z here you will get z power minus 2 w of z here it will be minus a 2 z power minus 2 w of z so these two terms will be going to be added and thus will, that will be finally added with x of z is going to be finally added with x of z so finally w of z is equal to x of z minus this term minus this term minus this term and this term okay so this is equation 2 or uh, equation 4 next equation 5 we have to realize that is equal to b naught into w of z so w of z is the input side and y of z is the output side so w of z multiply with b naught factor then b1 z power minus 1 into w of z so this will be z power minus 1 w of z this will be b1 z power minus 1 w of z here you will get z power minus 2 w of z w of z one delay and second delay okay z power minus 2 w of z here you will get b2 z power minus 2 w of z so these term will be these two terms will be added here b1 z power minus 1 w of z and b2 w or z power minus 2 uh, w of z and it will be finally added with this term these two added here and this will be finally added with your b naught w of z finally your oe of z is equal to b naught w of z plus b1 z power minus 1 w of z plus b2 z power minus 2 w of z sum of all this then next step we have to combine these two blocks we have to combine this because this the input is the output for this representation so we can just combine this in the next step if you combine these delay elements are common here these delay elements are common here so we need not to separately use additional two elements so this is the advantage of direct form 2 so direct form 2 is the advanced form of direct form 1 so we have reduced the number of delay elements in the previous case if you are representing using direct form 1 you need 4 delay elements now you need only 2 delay elements we have reduced the number of integrators ok so if you combine this this will be combined so combined means a common delay yeah we are using a common delay this will produce the delay for this part and this will produce the delay for this part okay so we have used the common delay this is the advantage of direct form 2 now we will see an example the same example what we seen in direct form 1 here this is the given difference equation for the given this difference difference equation describe the a discrete time system okay so we have to realize the given difference equation using direct form 2 so first we have to take the in uh, uh, z transform for the given difference equation once you taken the z transform means you will get z y of z 5 divided by is 6 minus 5 divided by 6 because you are having time shifting here one when you are have time shifting from using the time shifting property x of n minus alpha 
that is equal to z power minus alpha x of z. Okay, so here alpha value is one, so z power minus one, and instead of n uh, x of n, you are having y of n. So x of z here, and here it is y of z, right? So plus one by six z power minus two. Here the alpha value is two, y of z is equal to uh, x of z. A two into z power minus one x of z. Now we just represent using h of z. So y of z uh, h of z is equal to y of z divided by x of z. Now this is the h of z. Now we uh, like we seen in your uh, in the previous section the general form of system function. This y of z divided by x of z can be written as y of z divided by a new variable intermediate variable x w of z into w of z divided by x of z. So this is going to have the denominator part. Okay, one minus five by six is the power minus one plus one divided by six is the power minus two. Okay, this is going to have the numerator part. So first we will consider the this part w of z divided by x of z. So from the X of uh, uh, h of z, the denominator part going to be represented using this, and numerator part going to be having this. Okay. So denominator part, w of z divided by x of z, that is going to be one divided by one minus five by six z power minus one plus one divided by six z power minus two. Like we did in the previous section, we have to cross multiply this. If you cross multiply. You will have this. That is, w of z minus five by six is the power minus one w of z plus one by six is the power minus two w of z. That is equal to x of z. So here I am going to take the w of z to the left hand side. So all the these two factors will be come to the right hand side. So x of z plus five by six is the power minus one x w of z. This minus will become Mass plus will become minus, so minus one by six is the power minus two w of z. This is equation number two. Then the numerator part. The numerator part is going to be represented using y of z divided by y of z divided by w of z. So again cross multiply, so you will get y of z. This is you can say y of z. And this is W of Z going to be cross multiplied. So Y of Z is equal to W of Z plus two Z power minus one W of Z. You have to implement equation two and equation three using block diagrams. So equation two, equation two, W of Z is equal to what? W of Z is equal to the, this is the output, and X of Z is the input. So that is equal to x of z into one because the coefficient value is one plus five by six is the power minus one. So is that power minus one? W of z, w of z is the power minus one. Then it is going to be multiplied with five by six. It is going to be multiplied with five by six. Next, w of z delay factor is is the power minus two and it is going to be multiplied with minus one by six. Multiplication factor is minus one by six. So here you will have z power minus one w of z. Here you will have z power minus two w of z. And here minus one by six z power minus two w of z. Here you will have five by six z power minus one w of z. So w of z is equal to sum of x of z and this term and this term. So that is the final representation. W of z is equal to sum of x of z plus five by six is the power minus one w of z minus one by six is the power minus two w of z. Similarly, we have to implement the equation three. It is a simple thing. This is the output and this is the input side. So y of z is equal to w of z. So w of z multiplied with the coefficient value one and this factor two. Two is the multiplication factor and one delay element. So W of Z delay after that it is going to multiply with two. So these two terms are going to be added using the adder. 
So finally, y of z is equal to y of z w of z plus two is a power minus one w of z w of z plus two is a power minus one w of z that is equal to y of z. Next part or next step we have to combine these two. Then only we can reduce the because you see this w of z is going to be the input for this part. Okay, so if you can combine these two, you can have this is the final output. We have combined. We have combined. We have combined this element and this ele delay element. So we have reduced. Instead of three delay elements, we are having only two delay elements because in the direct form, one we had three delay elements, but in the case of direct form two, we have only two elements delay elements. So we have reduced the number of delay elements using direct form two. This is the main advantage why we are going for direct form two realization. Hope you understood this video content. In the next video, we are going to see cascade form realization of given difference equation, okay, or system function. After that, we will see parallel form of given system function, okay. Thank you very much.